If you are part of discussions what kind of business intelligence tool to offer to your end user, then we all know that you are sometimes in tough times. Offering a managed reporting tool, a managed dashboarding tool, or even a self-service tool, these can be complex and difficult choices. Especially if you realize that end users tend to ask for everything if they basically do not know what kind of functionality or what kind of tool better they, they need to use. My name is Ivo van der Zand. I work for SAP Business Analytics and I created, based on SAP Lumira, a tool that helps you selecting the correct business intelligence component for your end users. I've created the tool using SAP Lumira. On the screen you see the landing page where you have links to the overview page, filter page where you can select the required functionalities and a link page that explains the scores that are generated with the tool. The tool helps you selecting the correct business intelligence uh, component based on the number of questions which we will discuss later on. Let me go to the second page. Over here you see a description an overview of the Business Intelligence 4.1 suite of SAP. The components that you see on the screen are currently part of the complete BI Suite 4.1. So quite some tools and quite some components that you might not all need. In the next page, you have typically a kind of an indication of important domains to think about upfront when you are going to select a business intelligence component for your end users. What about the adoption curve? Should it be a tool? Is it allowed that people need to be trained for the tool? Or should it be a tool that more or less explains itself? How about platform integration? Should it be cloud enabled? Or should it be fully running in the cloud? How about governance? And do you want to centrally manage the data governance for all your business intelligence tools, for example? What kind of features or interactivity do you require? Should the tool allow for customization or should it be ready for mobile content? How about integration with planning applications or how about content creation? Important questions that you need to think about upfront before you start selecting business intelligence components for your end users. The next page is basically the core of this tool. On the left hand side, you see the different functionalities that end users typically ask you for their BI component. Very important to realize is that I do not tend to make an overview of all features in every single SAP Business Intelligence tool. What you see over here as a list of topics that you can select are typically functional requirements that end users have. To give you a few examples, should the tool uh, be able to integrate with Analysis for Office? Should it be cloud enabled? Does the tool need to create calculations? Is it okay if the tool has custom hierarchies? Or am I looking for cascading filtering, for example? Should I be able to, co to export a PDF? Or do I require offline or online connectivity to in memory platforms? Does the tool is the tool compliant to Hickard standard, for example? Yeah, so over here I have a whole uh, bunch of technical requirements, functional requirements, that end users can have for selecting a tool. If I select, I just select the requirements that my end users have, and you see on the right hand side a tech cloud showing me the selection that I created. If I now go to the next page, you will see that I get an overview per business intelligence suite component of the tools that apply the best to my filtering. So my filtering is over here on my top end. We just created it. I'll go back and show it. This is the filtering I created in the tech cloud. So I, I, I um, selected these technical uh, functional requirements. And over here, the tool generates for me the different applications, components that serve my requirements the best. The legend over here shows me the filtering that I've set up and currently with my current filtering, Cloud for Analytics, that by the way is part of the BI component selection tool, is best serving with the number two being Lumira. 
If I scroll down, I can see the uh, analysis the other way around, where I see my different functionalities, and in the legend, the color coding of the different components of the SAP Business Intelligence um, uh, Suite are visualized. I can sc scroll a little lower, and over here you see that I used scoring indicators going from 0 to 4, to 4, and exceptional highlighting that shows the tool or the component within the SAP BI suite that suits the best to your uh, functional requirements that you've set in your selection. On the next page, you see a similar analysis. Over here on my top right hand side, I ranked the best suitable components for the selection that I created. You can see it on the scoring over here with Cloud for Analytics in this selection being the top uh, the best suited component. The weather chart indicates similar. Again, I use the different metrics, measures, weightings and scores for the different components and plotted them over here in the weather chart where, <laughs> where you can typically see that for example for integration within planning, Cloud for Analytics scores the highest. If we have a look at Hickert, uh, compliance to Hickert charts, then you see that for example Design Studio and Cloud for Analytics both show the best scores. Well, in this way, you can easily make your selection what, uh, functional what component suits the best for the functionalities that you have in your company. The power of the tool, of course, is in how I went uh, and how complete I am with the technical and functional requirements that end users can have. I can assure you that I've made a very thorough uh, listening. Over here you see, by the way, another way of indicating the scores with green, orange and red buttons, where you can typically and easily see which components score the best weightings. I am constantly uh, adding and completing functional requirements that can suit for selecting a, uh, a business intelligence component for you. The last page describes how I use the scores that I've created for every single functional requirement. I hope you enjoy my tool and I can assure you that every month I will update the tool with new or adjusted functional requirements. Also when I have new ones, or even when the tools or components are being upgraded or uh, brought to a new version, I will apply the BI tool component immediately. If you are interested in using the tool, you should do two things. First of all, the tool, as explained, uses SAP Lumira. If you do not have SAP Lumira, you can download a free personal edition of SAP Lumira from www.saplumira.com. The software version is fully functional and not a trial version. It is only limited to Excel as a data source, which is no issue at all. The second thing that you do is you go to my Blogspot website, which is http colon slash slash evalvanderzand.blogspot.be and there you can download the Lumira file that I use so you can for yourself use the tool with your customers or at your premises. Good luck and if you have any questions you can always send me an email at ivo.van.de.zand.sap.com. Many thanks.